This is Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show. I'm Butch Kaboa. Welcome. For auto feature this week, we will have the Audi Q3. Highlights of the second leg of the Toyota Vios Cup Season 4 is lined up next in our special features segment. Head to Head Pits 2 MPV, the Toyota Innova and Mahindra Zylo. Plus our weekly updates on the latest news and developments in the auto industry and its peripheral sectors, plus the latest released automobiles from around the world. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol Engines. Mitsubishi Mirage, make it yours. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back. Here now are the latest news and developments in the local auto industry and peripheral sectors. The voting poll for the 2017 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, Sunshine Television's annual search for the motoring public's most preferred vehicle models, has now opened to the public. On select weekends from June to September, Robinson Small's customers are welcome to cast their votes for the standard and luxury automobile categories. Here are the following schedules. July 15 to 16, Robinson's Metro East. July 29 to 30, Robinson's Otis. August 19 to 20, Robinson's Manila. September 16 to 17, Robinson's Antipolo. The Autofocus website is also open for online voting. You can come over and cast your votes. Colombian Auto Car Corporation, the exclusive distributor of Kia vehicles in the Philippines, is offering a price off this month with their More Savings, More Allowance promo. With the opening of the new school year, the Colombian Auto Car Corporation is giving 30,000 pesos discount for the Kia Picanto. Customers can choose between the 1.0L EX variant with manual transmission or the 1.7L automatic.
Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, now takes a short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the hmm? to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to Autofocus, the weekly electronic automobile show. We have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, but in the meantime, Here's a review of one of the latest models from Audi. When PGA Cars, the exclusive distributor of Audi in the Philippines, entered the small premium crossover genre with the Q3, it instantly turned heads with its head-turning design and efficient performance. But with a desire to constantly improve its offerings, Audi has presented us this new and improved Q3 for 2017. From a single glance, you know that the Audi Q3 screams quality. It's premium from tip to stern with its coupe-like lines and the use of horizontal motifs that help emphasize its width. It's a truly expressive design with a trademark single-frame grille and new headlights with Xenon Plus technology and LED daytime running lights. At the back, the wraparound tailgate remains truly characteristic of the model and fitted with undivided LED taillights produce a sporty, upscale look. The Audi Q3 is powered by a 1.4-liter TFSI engine that delivers 150 horsepower and 250 newton meter of torque. It's mated to a 6-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch automatic transmission for smooth and quick shifts. In typical Audi fashion, the Q3 combines safe and agile handling. The suspension is made of forged and cast aluminum that not only improves handling but reduces the main enemy of performance, weight. The same story is found on the hood and tailgate which are also made of aluminum. 
This premium compact SUV is fitted with 17-inch tires, striking the perfect balance between comfort and sport. The Audi Q3 features vented discs in front and solid discs at the rear with the electro-mechanical parking brake integrated into the rear brake system. In addition, the latest evolution of the Electronic Stabilization Control, or ESC, incorporated in the new Q3 is even more sensitive and versatile. Inside, the new Audi Q3 1.4 TFSI has plenty of room, with high-quality workmanship and a clean, ergonomic design that reinforce its premium status. It offers an all-black leather interior and comes equipped with Audi's MMI infotainment system. And despite its small stature, the Q3 also boasts of a large trunk capacity which can grow four times when the rear seats are folded flat. The 27NQ3 is truly the premium Audi SUV in a compact form. It's sporty, efficient, and versatile. A great urban vehicle that is equally at home on or off the road. As we continue, we now give way to this special segment brought to you by Peugeot Philippines. Vehicle emissions have long affected our environment with the advent of mass production and industrialization. As more cars are produced and sold, the risk of air pollution becomes bigger. In this special segment of Autofocus, Mr. Glenn Dasig, President of Peugeot Philippines, invites you to take a look at some of the many innovations Peugeot has developed, changing the way we look at automotive technology. The Peugeot Technical Report is proudly brought to you by Eurobrands Distributor Incorporated exclusive importers and distributors of Peugeot vehicles in the country. Hello, this is Glenn Dasig of Peugeot Philippines, and welcome to our special segment in Autofocus. Here at Peugeot, we realize that our diesel engines not only have to be powerful, but also efficient. As the world leader in diesel engine technology, we also have the responsibility to the environment. Today, we'll take a look at one of Peugeot's innovative ways to reduce harmful emissions and ensure a cleaner environment with the Blue HDI diesel engine. Unveiled in Frankfurt in 2013, the PSA Group's Blue HDI exhaust line is currently the most effective technology for reducing the pollutant emissions of diesel vehicles. It is fitted on all diesel vehicles of Peugeot, Citroën, and DS. In the Philippines, technology is available in the Peugeot 308 station wagon and GT line variants. Equipped with this engine, the Peugeot 308 is simply the most efficient diesel car in its segment today. Blue HDI technology is a major step forward in the reduction of pollutant emissions. It reduces the nitrogen oxide emissions of diesel engines to levels comparable with those of petrol engines, while safeguarding the intrinsic advantages of diesel engines in terms of driving pleasure, fuel consumption, and carbon dioxide emissions. As a result of these innovations, Peugeot's Euro 6 compliant 1.6 liter Blue HDI boasts of the lowest carbon dioxide output in the sector. Diesel engines tend to be the right choice for people who do a lot of long journeys, where the engine's greater fuel efficiency will bring savings in the long run. However, diesel engines have long been regarded as heavy air pollutants. With its world-famous diesel heritage and engineering excellence, Peugeot has developed diesel engines that are not only fuel-efficient but are also low in emissions. 
Both the 1.6 liter and 2.0 liter Blue HDI engines showcase Peugeot's expertise in diesel technology. But how do they keep emissions down? The answer is found in this three-step process. First, an oxidation catalytic converter eliminates hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide from the exhaust gases. Then, a selective catalytic converter eliminates up to 90% of the harmful nitrous oxide through the use of a special additive which is a solution of high-purity urea. Finally, a particle filter eliminates 99.9% .9 of the diesel particulates by number. The entire process greatly reduces the vehicle's carbon footprint, giving you both an efficient and cleaner drive. Watch out for more of the latest automotive technological breakthroughs here on the Autofocus Technical Report segment. The Peugeot Technical Report is proudly brought to you by Eurobrands Distributor Incorporated, exclusive importers and distributors of Peugeot vehicles in the country. More news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol engines. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic show for the automobile enthusiast and back to more auto industry developments. Suzuki Philippines participated in the recent Pure Gold's 14th Tindahan ni Aling Puring Sari Sari Store Convention, the country's largest gathering of neighborhood retail store operators at the World Trade Center in Pasay City. The event aims to empower local businesses and entrepreneurs particularly those in the micro-retail industry. Suzuki Philippines reflected its support through their recent offerings for bigger savings and discounts, 
In addition, the brand also brought several of its leading vehicles to the annual Pure Gold Convention. Inside the Suzuki booth, event goers were introduced to the different features and functions of the recently launched Super Carry, the brand's first entry into the booming utility commercial vehicle segment, and was presented by Suzuki as a vehicle that could cater to every business need, particularly for micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises in an environment-friendly manner. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated recently unveiled the new Civic 1.8e CVT Navi Limited Edition, now equipped with a navigation system and select modulo accessories. Honda presented the new model with Honda's 7-inch tough screen audiovisual navigation system. Other features include Bluetooth connectivity for hands-free telephone functionality and audio streaming, HDMI port and Miracast projection for screen mirroring and USB input for media playback. Released specs include a 1.8 liter engine that produces a maximum power output of 141 PS at 6,500 RPM and maximum torque of 17.4 kgm at 4,300. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, we pause for another short break. You are watching Autofocus. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year and this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph Happiness. Happiness times 7. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use, flexible interior for your various needs, convenient features, advanced technology, powerful engine, fuel efficient for a smooth journey, and sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilia. Features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to Autofocus. Up next, we have our head-to-head, -head, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two automobile models belonging to the same category. It's safe to say that MPVs or multi-purpose vehicles 
are the jack of all trades when it comes to motoring. Not only do they have to seat seven, they must also be efficient, effective, and most importantly, versatile. Your options? Consider the evergreen Toyota Innova and the newcomer, the Mahindra Silo. The focus of this week's Head to Head. This week's head-to-head -head pits are two highly capable MPVs bumper to bumper, the Mahindra Silo and the Toyota Innova. Let's take a look at the stats and see what each car has to offer. There are two engine options available for the Toyota Innova. It starts with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder gas engine with a dual VVTi with 136 PS and 183 Nm of torque. If you prefer diesel power, there is also the new 2.8-liter D40 engine that puts out 171 PS and 360 Nm of torque. Transmission choices are 5-speed manual or 6-speed automatic. In the Mahindra Silo, it's just one engine and transmission combination. It is a 2.2-liter M-Hawk turbo diesel that produces 120 PS and 280 Nm of torque. Shifting is done through a 5-speed manual transmission. It is worth noting that the Innova and Silo have similar chassis and suspension setups. Both use a body-on-frame construction, double wishbone suspension in the front, and a live axle setup at the rear. The two are also rear-wheel drive. Inside, the Mahindra Silo is equipped with manual climate control, as well as extra air conditioning vents for the second and third row occupants. Steering wheel mounted audio controls, as well as cruise control, is standard. It is also equipped with a vehicle information display that shows fuel economy, as well as fuel range. As for the rest of the interior, it is trimmed in beige wood faux wood panels. The second row seats tumble forward for access to the third row. Speaking of the third row, it is a one-piece bench which also tumbles forward for storage. For the Innova, manual climate control is used for the entry-level models, while the rest of the range gets automatic climate control. Rear occupants are cooled by a ceiling-mounted air conditioning unit. Select variants also get a vehicle information display. Fabric seats are used for base and mid-spectrums, while higher variants get leather. Two seating arrangements are available for the Innova with 7 or 8 seat configurations. The 6-seater model get captain chairs in the second row while the 7-seat variant gets a bench arrangement. As for the third row, it hinges from the side for placing and stowing. Depending on the variant, the Innova comes with either a 2 DIN head unit or a touchscreen. All but the base model come with Bluetooth and USB ports. Standard in all is a CD player, aux in, and MP3. The two top trim lines gain navigation as well. As for the silo, base models use a 1 DIN stereo with CD, USB, and MP3. Meanwhile, top-spec variants get a 2DIN sound system. CD, USB, and MP3 compatibility is also present and gains an SD card reader. Moving to their exteriors, the two have different interpretation on what an MPV should look like. The Toyota Innova features sweeping lines with a bold front fascia and a distinct hexagonal grille. Long wraparound headlights complete the look of the front. Moving to its side, it has a distinct character line that can be seen on the middle section of the MPV, along with a pinch third row window. The entire range sits on 16-inch alloy wheels except for the base model, which come with 16-inch teal rims with wheel covers. At the rear is a reverse L tail light and is complemented by a rear tailgate spoiler. In contrast with the Innova, the Silo sees a tall, upright design. At the front are large headlights and a slim, six-slat grille. Black trim surrounds the bottom half of the car and all variants get step boards and standard. Meanwhile, the tall windows further accent the silo's height. At the rear is a unique tailgate design, the open sidewards, and at the corners are vertical taillights. 
Onto safety, the silo is equipped with dual front airbags as well as anti-lock brakes. Top spec models add heat cooling for the brakes. In the Innova, it too gets dual front airbags plus knee airbags for the driver. Side and curtain airbags are reserved for the range topping variant. Anti-lock brakes are standard across the line. The Toyota Innova has wide range of models to choose from. It starts with the entry-level J variants and moves to the E. More equipment can be found in the G model and comes fully loaded in the V variants. Most trim levels can be equipped with manual or automatic transmissions, as well as gas or diesel engine. V models come exclusively with diesel engines and automatic transmissions. For the silo, two variants are available, namely the base E2 and top-of-the-line E8. Both come with a diesel engine and manual transmissions. Prices for the Mahindra silo start at 830,000 pesos to 940,000 pesos. As for the Innova, the range starts at 936,000 pesos, all the way to 1,482,000 pesos. The Toyota Innova and Mahindra Silo are two different takes on the multi-purpose vehicle. These MPVs may have their differences, but they have one goal in mind, to shuttle families in the city and bring them out of town in comfort. Here now is Automark with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Out and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom built headers, racing filters, unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automart, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. Autofocus, the weekly electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry, will be right back after another short break. For your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph.
Creating an engine is like creating a great perfume. You need to select the best ingredients and combine them in a unique way. So it gives you a feeling you'll remember for the rest of your life. Peugeot 308 with Blue HDI and Turbo Petrol engines. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. You are back with us here on Autofocus and as we continue with this week's presentation, we have a special feature for you. After the success of Race 1 of the 4th Toyota Wheels Cup, Toyota Motor Philippines recently staged Race 2, continuing with its commitment to promote the local motorsport scene and support car racing personalities in the country. Motorsports and car racing enthusiasts went back to Clark International Speedway in Pampanga for the second leg of the Toyota Vios Cup Season 4. According to Toyota Motor Philippines, after the success of Race 1, the Vios Cup aims to prove that this racing program is bigger and bolder since it was first launched in 2014. We put some title, meaning the Toyota Gazoo Racing event is uh, one major title of this event. This is uh, like a global Toyota racing car event tagline. So this Vios Cup in the Philippines become the more official Toyota global uh, racing event. For the second leg of the fourth Toyota Vios Cup, a total of 52 racers composed of 46 individual teams and six celebrity racers battle it out in the racetrack, with three main categories consisting the race grid, the super sporting class, sporting class, and the promotional class with each category crowning their respective champions. Motorsports fans and spectators also witnessed celebrity drivers in the racetrack, such as Jake Cuenca, Gretchen Ho, fitness influencer Aubrey Miles, Jasmine Curtis Smith, Ella Cruz, and Dominic Roque. Round 1 first placers are Dominic Roque for Celebrity Class, Don Vic Portugal from Toyota San Pablo for Promotional Class, Paulo Agregado from Obengers for Sporting Class, and Danielle Miranda also from Obenger for Super Sporting Class. Super duper happy. Uh, dun sa nang Harry sa first race. Kasi uh, na maintain ko yung, yung position ko. 
sa pagpasok. And then, naka fourth place pa ako overall sa aming promotion celebrity class. And uh, happy kasi first place ako sa celebrity. So, I started pole for this for race one. And then, I had a miss shift from first to second. I had a miss shift. So then, I got um, probably seventh and during first turn, I was seventh. I just made, kept cool, kept cool, do my best. I know I had the pace because during the practices I'm about 0.5 to almost one second faster to the person in seconds. So I just kept cool, kept cool, do my best. And then when I saw three laps, five, three to five laps to go, that's when I started pushing my limits. I did my best, I pushed my best. And then um, the person in front of me, I pressured him. He got pressured. He did a few. He did a mistake there. I saw a, a small opening here, so straight, and I just took it right away and just made sure he wouldn't be able to overtake me back. For round two, Dominic Roque maintained his place on top for celebrity class. While Red Diwa from Toyota Isabella stole the spotlight in this round for promotional class. The same with JV Ejercito from Obenjurs for sporting class. And Daniel Miranda remained on his spot for the super sporting class. Very, very um, challenging and uh, for the whole 12 laps, or for you, uh, no, you cannot relax. Eh. Uh, you're pressured from behind and you're chasing somebody in front. So front and back, ano eh, yung attention mo eh. You're, you're trying to chase the one in front, but at the same time, you're trying to protect your um, your lead. No? Talagang yung 30 minutes na yun is really, really uh, very exhausting kasi yung pressure. Racers who competed in the racetrack also shared their experiences and the improvements they will focus on for the next legs of the Vios Cup. Of course, Marion practice, a lot of practice, kasi ito yung tinatawag kong first official practice, uh, first official race ko, kasi yung last leg namin, meron akong coach na kasama inside the car, tapos parang four laps lang yung ginawa namin. And then ito, first time na tapusin ko yung 12 laps, nang ako lang mag-isa, and descarte ko lang, sariling sikap ko lang, and yeah, turns out so good. Today was a lot of challenges because it's raining. It's my first race, it's raining. And then, um, syempre, the, that first corner, the whole scuffle, that gets really complicated. Kasi kailangan talaga alam mo ginagawa mo. Because if not, if someone goes, if someone bumps someone and you're behind them, you're in front of them, tamay ka din. So, like, the best thing to do, especially if you're not, if you're a newbie like me, back off a little bit, see what you're gonna do, assess what you're gonna do, and then do it. So, that's what I did. Siguro yung next race ko, um, listen more, and then actually again, I learned a lot from this leg. So, yung third ko is practice more pa talaga. So, hindi siya yung inborn na nasa brain ko na nag, it's like an assignment. May assignment ako every night, o ganito yung turns, ganyan, ganyan. Magka-calculate ka. Feeling ko sa third is, kailangan talagang time, time, lap. I-take ko lahat ng practices, ganun. And siguro I have to watch yung mga super sporting, sporting, how they do it also. Yung mga scared ako na turns, dun titingnan ko kung paano nila ginagawa. I think I, I, I was third, pero parang medyo, medyo frustrated ako with my performance because naunahan ako ni Ella nung take-off eh. I had the grid, I had the grid advantage, pero nagpauna ako. So, hirap na hirap ako i-overtake siya nung the whole race. Pero alam ko mas mabilis ako sa kanya sa corners, kaya ako siya natitail. Na but then like, since I'm not, I wasn't taught how to overtake, parang hindi ako marunang masyado kung paano. Nagkaroon kami dun ilang beses na parang nag-uungusan kami dalawa. Tapos sa dulo, naungusan ko siya, pero lumabas naman ako sa grass. So parang, um, I think I could have had a better rank, like second, pero wala, eh, ganun eh. Racers will compete again in the third leg of the Toyota Vios Cup Season 4 this coming September. I'd like to thank everyone who have uh, actually visited uh, the Vios Cup uh, this race. And uh, we look forward to seeing more people in the coming races. Thank you very much. Two races down, two more to go. The fourth Toyota Vios Cup is just getting more exciting. Stay tuned. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your auto electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show, shall again be back next time with the latest about the automobile and the auto industry. And don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.